for me, I mean, I, I'm not really answering any of those questions, but I mean, I, from the beginning, I told you I was independent and I didn't really want kids. And that shouldn't be something that I should have a knife against my throat for. If You should never knock down anybody's um, beliefs or anything like that. If that's what you want, you do that. If that's how your parents raised you, like I said in the beginning, you do that. You do that. Do whatever makes you happy. If you want to be with a woman forever and you, or a man, whatever, for everybody, everybody, the entire world's watching. Whatever, when and when, when woman or man, man, whatever. Ah. Uh, do what you want. What you're saying is like whatever. It's no guidance. It's no want. structure. Because it's chaos. I don't it's need not order. To be. I'm, I don't need to be. I'm Can grown. you give like any like like uh, say things constructively that gives order? I don't need to be. This is my world too. Just do like you how think it's yours. That in it's a, mine. Do you think that for a, any human being, do you th what do you think helps that human being reach success and l happiness and peace? Just reach goodness. Again, People, like listen, I said, let me, it, let proper me, mental Let me ask health. you a question. What do you think would help the human being reach goodness and that goodness can be happiness peace prosperity all of those good things a world of order or a world of chaos y'all need to realize where y'all live you live in america which has absolutely zero health yeah, you mental health you can't answer any questions so that's why you're living in a up. Yeah, you're living in a mindset of chaos as long as my you mental health move is good the and i'm and okay and i don't care about what you or he or she what anybody thinks well we can see clearly that your mental health isn't okay because you can't answer Re regular questions. Why? Because I don't want to be a parent. Like, get over it. Like, you guys are so mad about it. No one is talking about you being a parent right now. I asked you a question. You're still rambling on. Because so, I don't what wanna, do you think? Because I don't want to give you an exact answer. No, it's just very simple. Would you want to live in a world of order or chaos? I already live in a world with order and chaos. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Where like, y'all think too much about. Okay, shit. where in your life is there order? Society. No, no. I'm talking Law, about government. Yeah, men created that, right? So this is why you're talking about all this independent stuff, and men created the order, the 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 little bit of order and comfortability that you feel on your day to day basis. Men created that, oh. so you need to be thanking men. I don't need you're to not thank you for nothing. Woman. It's 2024. Women not started me. voting I'm way after, after about after men that. in general. We made our own thing. Women shouldn't vote. Get over why? Yeah, well, it's not why? a good thing. What? It's, why? It's not a good thing. They vote. It, they why? Shouldn't vote. Why? What do you mean, why? I'm asking you why. Okay. Uh, why aren't you, why didn't you join up and sign up for selective service? For the well, army? Yeah. Like, was, was, when was I supposed to do that? In high school? Like, when? Okay. How? What? Okay. How? What do you mean, how? What, what, what do you I, never did it, right? How? How? Okay. Nobody sent me a, it's not like somebody sent me a letter. Like, do I, do I just Got go you. and so do let that? Me explain like, how it do to I do you. that? Let me explain it to you how it works. Now, I think that, with women voting and stuff like that, okay, it could be, I would say that it's like this. It could go two ways. Back in the day, it was like this. Men voted because men had to sign up for selective service. And black men couldn't even vote and women couldn't vote. So only some men could vote. The men that, uh, you know, created America. Of course, it was help created by slaves and stuff like that, too. But it was men that still had other men submitting to them. So it was the more superior thinking and competent men at that time, right? That had a, mil a stronger military because only the strong survived. So men created laws and those laws made only men vote. You got it? What did the woman do? The woman, they sat at home We're and they were chilling. We're citizens of America. Got it. But they didn't have to sign up for the military and fight for the country. No, because we were being so submissive listen. for the Bible. Like, you guys are missing no, no, listen, such, listen, listen, such... No, listen. Like, they I didn't don't want to understand. Vote. They didn't, they, what I'm saying is women... We're not even going to get into the whole history because it's just pointless. But back in those days, it was just a... Sm it was the feminist movement that was, you know, uh, fighting for all of these equal rights and equal things. But they still didn't want to have equal rights because... Because they was like, yeah, we want to vote, but we don't want to be in the military. So this is why you can vote and you don't have to be in the military just because things aren't equal. Remember, we were talking to Holiday Tone asked a question. Name one right or privilege that uh, that a man has that you don't have. There isn't none. I already said it, men. And we, uh, have, more, we, and we have more responsibility and authority over y'all. Yeah, because look, you did can you <laughs> got to sign up for the military. You guys think you're so fucking powerful, and that's no, no. no well, that's because it. men wanted other men to fight for your war, and yeah, yeah, the yeah, were the most dumbest things on top of it. Again, while women got were it. submissive to a Bible, do you got that? No, because no, because that's what, what, what was about? going let's on. Let's go back. We going off on a tangent. You have some questions. Though. Let's get to your questions. I already did it. Move it. Go. Go to her. You went like two questions now. I already go to go to her. 
She then you give her like I see mad stuff on that paper. You don't got all right, I whatever. already asked the question. Gabby, what you got? So Any mad. questions? You're saying that women don't deserve to vote? That's kind of no, no. Rude. No one Stop said saying. that. Like men no need one, to, you, y'all no, need to reboot your fucking. Self. I said that. I said that. Women don't deserve. If to vote? it's going to be equal, they shouldn't vote. That's my standpoint. If it's because I always talk about all this equal stuff. I'm going back to holidays tone point, right? So if we're living in a world of equalism, equilibrium, everything is equal. Well, guess what? Y'all don't sign up for selective service, so should y'all vote count? Should it even count as a full vote? I Why are you what, saying yeah. y'all don't sign up for selective service? There's women that signed up for selective y- service, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm, it's mandatory for men to sign up for selective service. It's oh, it's, in this law. In like the forties. What? What are no, you talking no, about? Mandi- y'all don't see. Y'all don't even know the history of this. In order for me to get an ID as a man, I have to sign up for a selective service. In order for me to vote, I have to sign up for le- for selective service. In order for me to do certain things, that's in not America, a requirement in America. It's for not women? a requirement for a woman. It's only a requirement for a man. But we have oh, that choice. That. We have no, a no, choice, though. You, yeah, but we don't and, have the choice. But. Okay, but we do have the choice, though. But men gave you that choice. That's your government. What the fuck does a woman have to do with that? Your government decided to make what men fight against about? other men. You're just like how you said men what create laws. What are you laws, talking about? Just like I, you're I not. You're it. proving my point. So, <laughs> what exactly? So you need to focus on what you're saying too. No, you're proving you my point. You said that men create other men and men create other laws. So you had another man that told you that you were mandatory to go fight for him. That has nothing to do yes. with the woman. So you're mad that a woman had to sit home and be submissive to the bible no, that the man no, also the fucking wrote yeah, you, so you're, y'all, you're chaotic it, right now stop it stop it baby like, girl stop it, it makes no sense no one's talking about that and Why you're putting you attacking things attacking women for you're putting certain arguments things. no one is no listen baby girl you're putting things out there in the atmosphere i didn't know you had to no sign up said. to be so a service the day, not to get yeah, an id you didn't have to sign up you're just going women just don't speaking, have to do that women don't got to do that you're just speaking just to speak that's not the argument the argument you're saying women shouldn't be able to vote no i'm not because they don't have to sign I up t- for selective service. No, and because no. you have point, to give your life. So, no, no. Listen, listen. Make it clear and concise. The point that I'm making, right? Remember, we was all, y'all feminists. Y'all think that things should yes, be equal. Sir. That's what you think. Things should be equal. And then Holiday Tone even called in. Well, I'm about to checkmate y'all right now. Name one right or privilege that a, a man has that a woman doesn't have. And the answer is there is none is because y'all actually have more privileges than men is because y'all don't have to sign up for selective, selective service, service and we do. Meaning that if a draft I happens, the law if World War Three happens, no, it didn't happen. That. No. If World War Three happens, things are looking now. Yeah, if World War Three happens, I'm getting drafted. Men like me are getting drafted. So and what? we don't have any choice. Y'all ladies Y'all ain't getting drafted because y'all don't have to so sign. So we can't vote because you service. don't have to. So no, no. I'm just saying that if things was all equal, y'all vote. You wouldn't even be voting. But it's not equal. This is what I'm saying. Feminism is a lie. I'm telling you, it's just all a lie. I never well, said I don't think that's fair that women don't have to select to be drafted either. It's okay. No, no. It, they it's, can be drafted too. Women I, can I fight think too. That, no, well, here's the thing. If you really want my opinion, now here's the truthful opinion about things. Women, women voting, it's like, okay, truthfully, if it's, it could be like, all right, the man vote, I think it should probably go by household. Like, all right, the man at one household, that counts as one vote. That would make it more structured and that would also bring back order uh, to society because that would make people be in relationships and get into it and start a nuclear family so they can actually, um, you know, put laws into place by being in a relationship so we can pass a law together but it's all chaotic right now so women is voting and they can't even be in the military it's all chaotic but if you truly want my opinion i think that woman shouldn't even be in the military should it's a liability liability shouldn't even the standards are lower for women to be in the military one we got to do 20 push-ups y'all niggas only got to do 10 when something happens and the shootout happens and war is happening the man we have a natural propensity to protect women so we'll end up jacking up the mission just to protect katie like oh damn katie got hurt let me go ahead and protect katie we, they shouldn't even be in the military they're a liability what they should be in is actual other parts um uh, uh how can you know, i say they should it? be in combat be nurses, but they can be in like the tech they can, part they can be the in nurses other parts yeah other parts stuff. like the nurses maybe the techs maybe doing other things but they shouldn't be in a military actually fighting and shooting guns and doing all of that that's my well, perspective i don't believe on it, it be for someone hey. if it's not personal but in at the, the end place. of the day <laughs> 
that won't ever happen anyway. So right now, but us I just having this conversation is nonsense. People who serve the military, male or female, in general. So saying that women shouldn't vote because they don't have the option of being in selective service. Women still go out and protect no, our I'm country. I'm just saying that. Can I say I'm that? I'm proving real quick. Just stop it, ladies, because I think you're not getting what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. I'm just letting you know that feminism is a lie. That's all I'm saying. You keep I never saying that. Feminist. Keep saying stop that. it real yeah. quick. Yeah, just stop it real quick. You saying that you're independent means that you're a feminist. So if listen, real quick. If that's what you think, then go ahead. Okay, great. All I'm saying is I'm just proving the point that feminism, feminism is a lie. Feminism promotes equal rights for men. Equal rights for women, meaning that they should have the same rights as a man has. Well, it's a lie because you don't sign up for selective. I'm just stating a fact. You don't have to sign up for selective service don't like men. Have to. So it isn't equal within the term of equalism. It just isn't. <laughs> You're not equal to a man in any way. And but even that's the laws, the, law of a man, right. the laws and the rights even show that it isn't equal. So you've been lied to. That's Those all I'm law- proving. Some laws need to be changed. It is 2024, and some things do need to be upgraded. But that's not because no, the lo- that law shouldn't even be upgraded. You that- sh- you're saying women shouldn't even combat. Okay. Yeah. Well, some laws combat. need to be law upgraded, upgraded in upgraded. general because if you're thinking in that mindset, then no, you- I'm not thinking in that mindset. In stop, the mindset it, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! I don't want things to be equal. I'm happy that women don't have to sign up for the selective service. Okay. I would. It would be great that women didn't even join the military, and maybe they did join other parts within the military. That's like, um, uh, uh. Uh, like help helping parts like being a nurse and and other things within the like supportive roles being a more being in a more supportive role to the so you don't think a woman should hold a gun they shouldn't have a choice to hold a gun yeah freak that women should actually women get raped and harassed all the time we should always carry open guns sorry Uh, well that's different i'm talking about military I, I just want to say, whether right or wrong, like, uh, contradict all this extra shit, I just want to say, because I never said anything about being equal. I said that, I, uh, they asked me if I was a feminist. I said I, I, other people think I am because my are. point of view is on certain things. But I will say that you I do that live next to, I, I will say that I do live, my next door neighbor, she is a, about, I think, a 56-year-old woman, and she went, uh, she served for, um, She's a, vet- a veteran, mm-hmm. and she has schizophrenia. And every single day, she thinks that somebody is like a terrorist and like harassing her and things like that. And I live right next to her, so I'm not supporting or saying that women shouldn't go to combat and fight for their country. But I do think that women should at least vote because they're citizens. But at the same time, it was a different time, and because men were fighting for war, we're not we're not really doing all that extra shit all so much. Yeah, it's a the, different time. Yeah, the comments on I don't really care about the comments on the as far as like i mean y'all started this conversation about the whole voting thing and and the, and the rights and all that. of that. You started that i mean no we were talking about it anyway and, and you asked more about it but it, it makes no it doesn't matter is because like it ain't gonna happen laws ain't being changed and if we are if we do want those laws to change and then strong masculine men we got to come together and get some things done but at the end of the day uh let's move right along we got some super chats coming in here and let's have some get into some more debating topics what that y'all know more knowledge on so we got world traveler sends in 14 dollars. he says we are not stock on we not we are not stuck on the marriage stick on stuck on the marriage we are shaming you for having four kids with two different guys at 29 your value is extremely low in the market right now no man is picking you first any comment i don't want to be picked okay because i'm chosen by god to elevate myself i'm not looking to be picked because I have a higher purpose. Steve, why are you laughing, bro? <laughs> <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Yo, I'm Steve not looking funny. to be picked. Okay, and I, I don't got care you. about the person's idea of what my quality is because I'm not an object or something to be subjugated. Mm. I don't want to be just picked by anyone. Mm. My purpose now is to communicate with people and spread my positivity. I don't want to necessarily tune in to being in one relationship at the moment. I want to elevate my mindset to be the best person that I can be. So your definition of what my quality is based off of your idealism of how a woman should act doesn't affect me. But I hope you have a good day 
and you should work on what you feel about yourself and how much you hate women do um question for y'all uh, both y'all ladies when a man is at home eating cereal all day playing video games he has no ambitions to really do anything in the world or in his in his life and he's just living at home in his mom's basement um and then there's another guy and that guy is out there working getting the bag and uh he's has discipline he's not sitting at home in his mom's basement he has a lot of ambitions and he's meeting goals which guy has higher value that's in a dating market would you say which guy would have a better uh, uh a higher probability of getting a girl the first the first guy that's in his mom's basement with no ambition not doing anything or the second guy that's assertive dominant out there trying to make the best of his life which guy would have more options in a dating market first guy or the second guy We're rooting for the first guy here. We're rooting for the first guy. I know you will root for the first guy. Everyone, like, people yeah, root for the Cowboys. Guy. Nah, first I get guy. it. Look, I get it. Like, people root for the Cowboys. Like, Cowboys, they always losing, right? But you, you root for the underdogs. That's not the question. I know I know. we're going to root for the underdogs. I'm an underdog rooter. I'm not talking about that. Not so that my he's question is this. necessarily an underdog. I got to listen. Listen, because I need you to answer the questions he concisely. Have better more got you, Gabby. Listen, right? The, person the question is this. That isn't the question. I know you want to root for the underdog. And, Actually, I will root for the underdog, too, because I want him to do better. But it's here's the question. Here's better. the question, right? The question is this. I'm going to say it again. Guy A, he's broke, a bum, living in his mom's basement with no ambitions, eating cereal, playing video games, masturbating. Guy B, he is not living in his mom's basement. He has his own place. He's assertive, dominant, and he's out there going to make the best living for himself so he can provide whoever in the future, uh, the woman in his future, a good future and a good life. Now, I'm saying that which guy is the best mating choice? Guy A with nothing or guy B that has things and has more ambitions to even go beyond that? Which guy is the best mating choice? A. Okay, that's a lie. What about you? Um, are you going to tell me that I'm DeLulu and don't know how to pick men if I say the one with a good job? Yeah, so right now, chat, they are act. This is what you call, like, they're literally being kids right now. When, remember when we say women tend to act like children? This is them acting like children. They know the answer, but she know that I was about to checkmate her based off her faulty logic when she replied back to the comment talking about her, her value, pretty much saying that her value isn't low. It is a fact. A man wouldn't choose you. He said that you wouldn't be the first choice with, with a Man. A man isn't going to choose a woman that has four kids, that has two baby fathers. You won't be his first choice. That is a fact. Your value decreased, right? He's going to choose the woman that has less kids, the woman that has less baggage. So that's a fact, just like the man. What, what, what woman would the guy choose, guy A or guy B? They would choose guy B, the guy that's out there going to get things. That's all we're talking about. You ain't well, want to answer the question. Well, that also depends on the lifestyle that the person who's living who has the option of no wrong a or wrong, B. wrong 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 yes, wrong 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 yes, what are you talking about the because options is there you're just moving the goalposts isn't focused if you have what? who's making more money who no no seems that more isn't dominant, that that isn't that you added more mindset. stuff in gabby we're gonna move on to the, the next chat who's who's eating cereal, no. we think about who's like living that. with their mother no you don't going to treat me with compassion you actually may think about stuff like that gabby hold up stop talking gabby going to help me raise my children if you want to i mean i'm not looking for anyone to help me raise my kids gabby but you're in communication, you're right? A good person. To God dang, me, Gabby, you're in communication. And you ain't even communicating right. What is going on? You're here? not allowing me to speak. You're no, asking stop. Questions. You're still running on. You're it's not a allowing time me to speak. In the podcast no, you're trying to tell you me need I'm to wrong. Calm but down. You're not allowing me to speak. We need to calm down because you're I'm still calm. saying things that is nonsensical. So I got to tell you to shut up because I'm, it's just ridiculous now. Okay, you're so rude. shut up. You're being calm rude down. for the second time. Calm down. No, I'm not being rude. It's my podcast, and I gave you the rules on the podcast. Okay, you're being rude. I did give you the rules. You're being rude. Yo, actually, dang, we ain't record. And uh, everybody, sign up for the membership because we are going to start recording when we give the girls the rules of the podcast and we're going to put it in the membership. So Which y'all can didn't see. Let us read it. Yeah. So y'all can see. The podcast just let us and to shut up because he'll, he'll, he'll be letting like me leave. That's they all he said. Let you read it he at just first. said, shut up. It's my podcast and I'll make you leave if you don't, if you don't agree with my. Dis That's all you said. There was no rules. The rules? That's so a lie. Now you're just lying. I can, Steve, you want to come in the camera and say what the fuck? I just signed a contract <laughs> saying that with my surveillance, that's it. Where's it's okay, the contract? It's okay. the, the chat even, the chat even knows. Oh. I mean, a lot of podcasts, we're yeah, not the only the podcast chat. that does this. Okay. Anyways, um, 
move it right along. Uh, we got Paul Long sends in. Oh, actually, I skipped one. We got a big one. Shout out to you. How long is this going to be? It's we, 1 a.m. We got, um, uh, you want to leave? How long leave do you, you have your podcast? We doing, I'm getting through the chats and we don't last thoughts. Yeah, you did say it started at 8, 8, 8, 8 p.m. You, yeah, 8 you PM. said it yeah. started at 8. I got here at 8.30 because of traffic. Now it's 1 a.m. Yeah, we started late. We started at like 10. And it's only us yeah. here. You're waiting on four of the girls. Yeah, you want to you wanna go ahead and leave? You Wait, can they're leave. still coming? No, no girls are coming. You want to oh. leave? Oh, I wonder why they're not. You want to leave or no? You could go if you want. Are you Actually, you can up? see your way out. Actually, Gabby, off. Oh You're done. And you want to leave too? I'm I'm just waiting. I don't know if it's um, if it's done or not. Me too. I mean, I see that you're no, aggravated you could, by me. Do you want me to leave? No, no, no. no you're you fine. But I mean, you have a lot of points of kitchen, and man, you are done. So, Gabby, you can get up and walk away. Go ahead. You out of here. Okay. Peace. Sure. I just want everyone to know. I hope you have a great, great. day. Yep. And, and you, uh, you can cut the audio on that your life. on a, on a, on a OBS. Your life you can cut the audio on OBS. Click it. Yep. Send you to live your life how you want. Click the OBS. Shannon, you talk. Yep. Go ahead. All right, Gabby, go on out. Well, I don't want to be disrespectful. If that's the case, if, if, my, if my is my audio can be cut off too. Go ahead. Well, let her leave, and then we fi- we'll finish up. Be faithful. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's all good. Yeah. I'm glad I was here to enjoy this. Experience. It's all good. It was fun. And you need to learn how to speak to people with more respect. Yeah, Gab. That's why we we run in the show. We live. You could put the audio back on. Okay. Gab, we run in the show and we are I'm live. Going to leave, but this is what I'm going to say to you. Yeah, yeah. We run in the show. We live. Yep. We run in the show. We live. So let's go. You need to speak to people yeah. with more respect. Got it. Let's no wonder why you don't want men coming in here because you like to bash women. Mm. Yep, let's get a bad and You're here. scared to get hurt. Ooh. I don't understand how you're raising females. Yo, camera on me. Yo, uh, chat. She not leaving. I don't know why she not leaving. Gab, you're come on, you out. Because I have something to say to you. All right, I got it. You out of here. Okay. Let's go. I wish you well with your marriage and your children. Goodbye. You could still flip it on because you need to go. All right, it's okay. It's it's all good. Excuse your way out. Steve, please do a good job this time and ex- escort uh, Gabby up out of here. <laughs> and uh, we're going to get this for the back footage as well. All right, we got another one. Oh, um, yeah, make sure she got everything, and then also when she out, lock the door up top. What's the yeah. footage? Uh, sign up for the uh the the uh this not the well sign up for the Discord too, but sign up for the membership, man. All the background footage will be uploaded when I'm recording now. Um, yeah. Uh, you going real slow? Can you speed it up? We got we live right now. We got a show. What's a back okay. footage? All right. All right. All right. She's still walking real slow. <laughs> it's going to be up like yo. <laughs> yo, girls don't like to take L's, bro. They just don't like to take L's. It's crazy. Um. Anyways, all right, chat. We live right now. I had to kick one out. 